Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Hello and welcome to this video. Um, today we are going to be starting the free episode um, mini season or uh, short season, however you want to call it, um, of Rabbits the Path. Um, this intro is going to be a little bit longer because I really want to show off the there's an in universe game or card game called The Path. Um, and for, as a novelty item, and I repeat, novelty item, it's not real, there's no supernatural stuff to it, but they created the cards, and they sell it on their merch, out of their merch store, and the artwork is phenomenal. And that's kind of what I wanted to share with y'all, is, is the artwork of these cards. There's 12 of them total, so... Um, the first car card is entitled the Tree of Life. There we go. And it's just really cool art. Uh, the second one is called the Demigod. I'll hold it straight for you. There we go. I'll pull back a little bit, get it more in frame. Uh... The third card is called The Child, which the, the, the infant on the, uh, at the bottom kind of reminds me of 2001 A Space Odyssey, to be honest with you. Um, the fourth card is called The World. And there we go. All right. Then we have the twins. I think this is my favorite card of the bunch. Um, there we go. Hold it straight. There we go. Like I said, I, I just really like this card of the bunch. Um, the thief. There we go. The Worm. And actually, Worm is also another term used in a lot of fantasy novels for dragons. So, you know, it's all on how you want to interpret it. Then we got The Tower, which has our familiar Moonrise on it from uh, Season 1. Uh, the Travelers, card nine. Then we have card ten. The Gate. Uh, card eleven, The Void. This is another card. This is probably my second favorite card of the group. Trying, trying to keep the glare this yeah my I should fix that um there we go that's pretty cool and the last card is the realm of sleep this is a cool card this is probably my third favorite card right there but all of the cards are really cool they're um, interesting. Uh, like I said, the art. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. You could probably go back and pause this video and, and scrutinize the cards. But there's a lot of like really detailed art and stuff that, that pops out. Um, 
I may, because these are the, the, the in-universe rules for the game. And the, uh, I'll probably, as part of the intro on the, the second part of this episode, read you all the rules. And like I said, it's a novelty. It's a fun thing to actually sit down and, and, and play it by the rules. And like I said, there's no supernatural anything um, in our universe or anything. It, it's totally made up. And it's just kind of fun. It's a neat little party game, to be honest with you. So, let's get into this uh, first episode of The Rabbits, The Path, Episode 1, Part 1. Check the Rabbits podcast feed for a three-episode miniseries called The Path, A Rabbit Story. And remember, if you're interested in the Rabbit's novel, you can find it anywhere books are sold or visit terrymiles.com for more information. And now, here is something new. Something called The Path. And I, I, do, I, I, I do wholeheartedly like this. Um, it's a great bridge between Season 1 and Season 2 because it does set up some of the stuff that we're going to encounter in Season 2. Ready when you are. You believe your friend was playing rabbits? Playing rabbits. She started seeing mysterious men in gray. What did she ask you? Did she asked me how many steps to the lighthouse. Same introduction to the season one rabbits. I think season two might use the same introduction. I don't remember right offhand. And I've got the volume turned down on the desktop audio because by this point you've probably heard this when I did it, when I let it play through in the first four or five um, episodes. So it may have been three episodes. I forgot when I just stopped doing the intro. So let's turn the desktop volume back up. Everything you're about to hear began as an investigation. But before we get into the details of exactly how everything started, I'm going to play a recent hidden microphone recording. After that, I'll be back to officially introduce myself and set the scene, as it were. Yeah, this, like I said, this is, this is kind of a cool down from season one and a and with a with a little bit of a pause, then the build up, getting ready for season two. It's something I forgot to show you. Was the art on the back of car, back of the cards? All the cards have the same basic art to them on the back. So and it's pretty cool too. So let's get into it. Enter the parking lot between 7 and 7.05 p.m., three evenings from today. Park in the third stall from the left in the right-hand parking area. Turn off your headlights and then flash them off and on twice slowly. Wait three seconds and then turn off your car. Oh yeah, the, the, there's going to be some use of uh, profane language, um, a little bit more so than in season one. Get out of your car and walk to the bus stop along the first road you see that's named after a tree. Once you reach the bus stop, sit down on the bench, 
tie the secure blindfold you brought with you across your eyes so you're unable to see anything and await further instructions. Okay, so I'm kind of pretty on ominous uh, beginning and you can tell by the voice that our protagonist is somebody other than Carly. Blindfolded. I chose fabric. I should be able to see through if there's enough light. But right now it's pretty much pitch black. I'm sorry, what is that? What are you what are you doing? It's a blindfold. I'm already wearing one per the instructions. This one goes on top of the one you're wearing. That's not I mean <laughs> Come on. We can stop right now. You're welcome to go back to your car and leave. Fine. What are you doing now? Making sure you're not wearing a wire. Wow. You know, secrets got to be kept. Where are we going? For a drive. Is all of this really necessary? Hello? You may remove your blindfold. My name is Monera. Have you prepared your mind per the instructions we provided? I took a hot bath and I did the meditation and whatever else was in the note, yes. You prepared your bath with the proper minerals and set your intentions with the sonic palette provided? Yes. Please wait here. What you're about to discover isn't going to be easy to comprehend. It's going to force you to question everything you know, everything you've learned up to this point. Are you prepared for this? And it even makes you question the sanity or insanity of the first season. Yes. Good. Very good. Okay. We're finished for tonight. We are? Yes. But tomorrow night we're going to show you something. And after that, you're going to understand that the world is different than you've been imagining from your birth until the moment you chose to contact us. You'll come to see that the universe, it's filled with darker purpose and hidden mystery. Mystery that's waiting for those who care enough to learn its secret language and uncover its deeper meaning. Which makes you wonder if this is kind of a recruiting to tool for the wardens or if these two particular people are wardens and they're sussing out whether or not she needs to play the game or become a warden. I don't know. Or yes, maybe. I don't know. It's waiting for those dedicated enough to find a way, to move through the path and enter another world. From the Public Radio Alliance and Minnow Beats Whale, you're listening to The Path, a rabbit story. I'm Veronica Dale. Stay with us. What you heard earlier was audio from a tiny hidden microphone. Two of them, actually. One was hidden in the frame of my glasses, the other in one of the buttons of my jacket. Wireless, so they missed both of them when they checked for a wire. The male voice you heard belongs to a man who calls himself Minera. The female is Brenner. Minera was about six feet tall, kind of shaggy looking. A black leather jacket hung loose over his broad shoulders. His eyes were green and spaced wide across his face. 
Brenner looked like an anime heroine with short, cropped black hair and jet black eyes that sparkled with something that felt more dangerous and electric. Than yeah, um, that's one thing I found of just about any species. The female is usually more ferocious than the male. Fun or mischievous. So, why was I surreptitiously recording a meeting between myself and a group of extremely culty sounding people with a penchant for over the top security straight out of a Pierce Brosnan era James Bond movie? It's because I was looking for information about something that had happened, and that search eventually led me to those two people. I'm going to explain as much as I can about everything that's happening, at least as far as I'm able to understand it. But my memory has been playing tricks on me lately, and I've been a bit stressed. So I thought it might be helpful to bring in a friend. It's fucking hot in here. That's my friend, Lucy Fitzgerald. She's medium height with dark hair and even darker brown eyes. She works as a bartender and a ring girl for an MMA club. And that's kind of cool. Um, this time we have a female-female pairing, which, which is going to play out fairly interesting and and then the as we go through here we find out a whole lot more things not really find out there's more questions to be answered which is fun because the answers to the questions are more of a thought exercise than anything else yeah she's crazy hot but don't get it twisted Last year, she jumped into the ring to separate two MMA fighters and ended up knocking one of the two women out. A professional fighter. Lucy had a couple weight classes on the pro, but still, she's a killer. I can turn on the air conditioning if you like. Well, won't that mess up the recording? We can take a break, wait for it to um, cool no, down. No, uh, I'll be fine. Okay, so, um, I went to the meeting. I fucking knew it. I told you I was going. Yeah, and I told you not to. Turns out I really am the boss of me. Well, that was stupid, those people are fucked. I don't know. I mean, they're definitely fucking weird, but I think they might actually be harmless. Who the fuck is harmless anymore? Well, I'm going back there tonight. They said they're going to show me something. No way you are. Mm -hmm. Yes way I am. No. Look, V, ever since that thing with Noah, you, you're you not really thinking straight. A thing? With Noah? You mean, oh, that tiny little thing where he didn't recognize me? Like, at all, after we'd been in love and inseparable for over a year? I feel like I'm thinking absolutely straight. And that's, I mean, that is some kind of crazy. Um, it's, you can't, you can't fake that kind of memory loss. That's, you know, there's, a, there's, there's something definitely up. Oh, yeah. Well, mostly straight anyway. Yeah. Lucy's right to be skeptical. She cares about me, and she was the one who had to pick me up after Noah went back to London. He was always going to be going back, but the thing is, he was supposed to take me with him. What he wasn't supposed to do was look into my eyes more than a year after we'd started seeing each other and act like he didn't recognize me. A week later, he was on a plane. Two days after that, he was killed in a free car accident. He was only 27 years old. We're going to go ahead and call this video good here just simply because it's just a good stopping point plus having a rather long intro to this particular um, video. So everyone have fun. Be safe. Peace.